Sell, 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 sell. <laughs> this is Neon, this is Clownfish TV, and this is Global Panic. I guess the economy's collapsing. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this uh, uh, economic collapse. Some people think it's gonna be really bad. Some people think it's gonna be a bump in the road, but it's uh, it's not looking good. And the reason I'm covering this on the channels, we talked so much about the uh, stock values of entertainment companies and kind of financial health of these entertainment companies. And if nobody's got any money for entertainment. Guess what? <laughs> they're they're not going to be booking trips to Disney World. They're not going to be buying seventy to one hundred and twenty dollar video games. So let's uh, let's look at this. Let's talk about this. And this is all because of the U.S. Uh, yeah, the world is afraid that the U.S. is headed into a recession. Who could have seen this coming? With uh, prices being the way that they are, that we're and and uh, all of the uh, the free money running out. Who could have? Who could have seen this coming with with uh, massive amounts of layoffs in the tech sector, especially in entertainment? Yeah, it's not looking good, guys. Uh, who knows? I might have to start an OnlyFans. I might have to. I might have to uh, jiggle my man boobs for cash. Who, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Let's talk about this. Geeky is sitting this one out. Uh, she's got better things to do than worry about the economy today, so I'll have to catch her up on uh, everything going on. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, check out our podcast, the uh, Clownfish TV Audio Edition, and also uh, D-Rezzed. Uh, you, can, you can subscribe to those wherever you find podcasts. As come from the New York Post, we've got, man, we got lots of updates here. This is, I'm trying to to make heads or tails of it. But yeah, they're talking global economic meltdown. This is coming from the New York Post. Wall Street bloodbath. That sounds promising. Dow, NASDAQ plummet as renewed recession fears trigger a global sell-off. I know over the weekend, Japan collapsed. Uh, it wasn't looking too good. They said Wall Street's main indexes nosedived on Monday as fears of the U.S. tipping into recession following weak economic data last week rippled through the global markets. Wow. Uh, yeah, so is this going to affect the election? I kind of I kind of wonder. I kind of wonder. Uh, one person has more experience with money than the other. I'm just I'm just saying. The blue chip Dow Jones Industrial Index plunged more than 1,100 points after the opening bell, while the tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite fell 5% after entering correction territory last week. Uh, the declines followed broad sell-offs overseas. Tokyo Index suffered its worst single-day retreat since Black Monday, 1987. Stock market crash. In 1987, that pretty much signaled the end of the uh, the 80s as we knew them for many years. This is pretty bad, guys. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, this isn't looking too good. This isn't looking too good. The closing at 12% lower while European stocks fell to nearly six-month lows. The pan-European stock 600 index was down 2.6%. It's low since February of 13. Or February 13th? Is that February 13th? Yeah. Uh, some of the world's largest tech companies saw their stocks get hammered on Monday. NVIDIA, Meta, and Apple all lost 6%. Apple, the iPhone maker, was still reeling from the announcement Saturday. The billionaire investor Warren Buffett cut his stake in the company by half. Though the Berkshire Hathaway chief remains the firm's largest shareholder. Warren Buffett has to be like 98 years old now. And you know what's keeping him alive? Side note, you know what's keeping Warren Buffett alive? McDonald's. I'm not even kidding. The guy goes to McDonald's every day and he, he orders a, a Egg McMuffin and a cheap-ass McDonald's coffee. I get McDonald's coffee every day, too. I'm going to live to be 118. I swear to God. <laughs> anyway, last week, Buffett sold off $3 billion worth of stock in Bank of America. Crypto was also hit hard by Monday's meltdowns. Bitcoin shed more than 17% of its value. Ethereum down 21%. Holy hell. The global digital currency market lost a total of $1.79 trillion from its market cap over the course of the last 24 hours. This is, uh, I'm going to be trying to get this one up pretty soon. This is like 8.50 a.m. 
on Monday that they posted this. The most recent job report from last week, which showed hiring crawl to slower than expected, showed a hiring crawl to a lower than expected pace had Wall Street fearful of the prospects of recession. Yeah. And again, we cover the entertainment industry and entertainment is a luxury item, right? So all these people complaining about, um, you know, the working conditions and entertainment and uh, now is not a good, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to reiterate when for the, like the 15th time, when daddy just got laid off, you don't ask him for a pony. And we have a lot of people that are like, we're going to go on strike now. I'm like, you know what they're going to tell you? I'm not being a hard ass, but they're going to tell you there's the door. Um, we're going to cancel your projects. We, we cannot afford to pay you guys double what we're paying you now. We can't afford, we can barely afford to keep you. So I think we're going to see a lot of uh, contraction in entertainment. I think this has something to do with Disney stock over the weekend dipping below $90 because Disney, again, is a luxury item. You know, you don't go to Disney World when you just got laid off. Well, some people do. Yeah, you know, but I'm just saying you don't you don't spend five or ten thousand dollars on a ridiculously overpriced vacation when you can barely put food on the table and food costs three times as much as it did a couple of years ago. It's insane. They said analysts at investment banking giant Goldman Sachs on Sunday raised the odds of recession next year from 15 percent to 25 percent. Although they cautioned that such a risk was limited. The weak jobs report and global stock sell-off has also fueled analyst expectations that the Federal Reserve will step in and institute emergency interest rate cuts in the hope of re-energizing the economy. Oh my God. Recession would upset the Fed's plan to slowly introduce rate cuts as part of a soft landing, but the latest data uh, has led some critics to pounce on the central bank for not acting fast enough to slash rates when signs of cooling inflation were apparent. You know what's so funny about the whole economy? This is all monopoly money, right? It only has value because we uh, ascribe value to it. We're all just playing make-believe, you know, but whatever. The Fed has been late in cutting rates, but that has been true for some time, says Paul Donovan, a UBS economist. The policy error is making things worse for lower income households. Prior to Monday, the markets priced uh, a 78% chance the Fed will not only cut rates in September, but ease by a full 50 basis points. Um, so this is uh, Dan Ives from Wedbush Securities telling CNBC on Monday that the sell-off was driven by a massive fear panic, but investors should view this as an opportunity. You should be buying. You should be buying cheap stocks. CNN is all over it. Global crisis 12 months ago. Use the market sell-off to buy the dip. Yeah, there we go. Um, Fed's Goolsby says the central bank will fix any weakness in the economy. 12 minutes ago, soft landing, hard landing, or crash landing. Damn, this is coming from uh, Britain's news channel, GBN, which some people said is the uh, UK equivalent of a uh, Breitbart, but uh, whatever. I, I like the image. This is a, this is a good image. Uh, FTSE plunges with billions, billions wiped off of stocks as global markets go down and melt down. And they're talking about Japan in particular. Worst, worst single day in Japan since 1987. European shares have suffered their worst drop in two and a half years, prompting investors to sell, sell, sell. It's because of jobs, right? They said the U.S. labor market slowed down in July and looked weaker than expected, creating only 114,000 new jobs, which is significantly down from the average of 215,000 jobs a month over the past year. Well, we had people going back to work, uh, crawling out of the pandemic, but we've also had a lot of reductions in uh, workers because especially like the entertainment and tech sectors because the free money has run out. So I think there's that. And I think that some of these jobs are being automated. And I think some people just don't want to go back to work. There are a lot of people that just don't want to go back to work. I don't know where the money is coming from. I have no idea where the money is coming from, but uh, it has been my experience that some people just, they're still thinking it's the pandemic. They don't want to leave their houses. They don't want to go get jobs. Uh, the figures announced last week have raised questions as to whether the Fed has waited too long to cut interest rates to try to support the U.S. economy. 
Yeah, it's going to be like like this, but everywhere. Um, the slowing of the U.S. economy triggered by weaker than expected jobs and manufacturing data may be likely the uh, final nail in the coffin for the case to lift interest rates. Uh, there are now predictions of an emergency interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve next week in an effort to put an end to sell-off in global markets. I don't think we realize, and this is kind of scary just in general, like how thin of a thread the uh, the world economy dangles from, right? Like it doesn't take much to, to throw the economy into chaos. It doesn't take much to throw the world into chaos. We had one one virus and it threw the world into chaos. And uh, this is kind of scary though. Uh, people people were talking about it all weekend. They're like, well, I hope you don't have any plans of retiring anytime soon, Neon. I'm like, no, I'm going to have to start an OnlyFans. Middleagemanboobs.com. That's going to be my new website for all the people that want the middle-aged man boobs. I don't know. <laughs> so there it is, guys. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this because I do believe this is going to affect entertainment very, very hard. Um, people were already fighting about whether or not Trump should come back in the comments on the New York Post. Yeah, it's, it's going to get bad. I think it's going to get bad. Just in time for the election. All right, guys, there we go. There's your good news for the day. So hopefully we'll have some some better news for you later. Geeky will be in on those videos, but I thought that uh, I'd kind of let you know what's going on because I think we're going to see a lot of stocks drop. And I think we're going to see uh, a lot of uh, projects get cut, a lot of panic, um, especially in entertainment. And again, if you're working in the entertainment industry and you have your job, consider yourself consider yourselves very lucky. And I, I, would, I personally would... Hold off on your plans to threaten your employer with a walkout uh, because they might just tell you there's the door. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.